Cheese pull. Cheese pull. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese pull. The jackery. The jackery. The jackery. The jackery. The jackery. My jackery. The jackery. The jackery. The jackery. Just jackery. The jackery. Just jackery. The jackery. The jackery's working its butt off. That is phenomenal. Drink. 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 Donate. E beggar. Drink. Boost hound. Drink. 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 Donate. E beggar. Drink. Boost hound. Drink. 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 Donate. E beggar. Drink. Uh, happy birthday, boost hound. Hack. E beggar. Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Gravy train. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a food channel that's running out of ideas. In the meantime, let's watch some TikTok. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian white guy. Hitler flap. Thank you very much. White guy. Because I'm white. So the Japanese are horrible people. If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Ah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> 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 If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British penis. I'm very uneducated. Is this your full-time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Uh-huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy. 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 I'm insane. Double, a double. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry? Medium Pepsi. There's a sign. There's a sign. There's a sign here saying turtles. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. This is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh no. Mmm. 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 It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the wrapper. I know, I know. I want people okay, to okay, see okay. it. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So, I think we could have, no? Mm. It would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. You see what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. The Chinese are horrible, so the Japanese are horrible people. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Beautiful, 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 beautiful looking lunch. You are good at describing food. You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. How, how else to fix this? You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. <laughs> This is the dumpster that we, your mom and I found you in. Your real name was going to be called Waste Management. <laughs> yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. the best poutine. I've been telling people that for years. I don't drink any sugary drinks. That's that's for losers. I mean that. Sugary drinks. You don't need them. You get off them. Green tea. Un unsweet. Unless you're under the age of 50, then I would say it's okay to drink sugary drinks. Over 50, nah, you can't mess with that stuff. 
wet the whistle with a little bit of coke, check out this super close up of the lard tundra and cheeses. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. First thing, before the fun starts, I wanted to show you guys the difference between a legit channel such as Daryl Braun Guitar and Ken. If you are going to do a paid promotion for a product or service, then the correct way to do it is to declare it. So, when you click on the video, in the first few seconds, you're going to get that notice telling you that this includes a paid promotion. So that's how people who are legit do it. And of course, Ken is a liar. He pretended like the tornado that hit Barry last year hit his shack in the Elf Village. He does his drunk streams. He plays copyrighted music, breaks the terms of service, makes about $800 doing shots of tequila. Then he dirty deletes the whole thing and walks away with his money. That is Ken. So Ken doesn't let you know that the Jackery thing is really just a paid promotion. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not a criminal offense, you know, it's not something you can call the police over. It's just disappointing that Ken does this. And it's so pitifully apparent that what he did with the Jackery, it was just a giant ad. So, um, yeah, this is the legit way to do it. And then there's the uh, bad way to do it, the way Ken does. Here we go. Cheese pull! For our Ken to be referring to this as a cheese pull is wrong for three reasons. The first reason is, it is not a cheese pull. Having a stretchy bit of cheese, or some dangling cheese, is not what is referred to in the food game as a real cheese pull. A cheese pull is an extraordinary demonstration of cheese holding itself together and really getting stretched uh, for quite a way. And, uh, this is a cheese pull. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. And this is a cheese pull. We get it, Chicago. You have cheese pull. You want a, a medal for your cheese and your pull? Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> So the first thing is, Ken has just got it wrong. What he has there is not a cheese pull. Number two, he's letting everybody know that he's not interested in doing what a real cheese pull is. That's what he does as a hack. He, he notes what other people are having success with. So he copies it with as little work as possible. It's not like he's going to ask for, like, you know, quadruple the normal amount of cheese just to really pull, no pun intended, the cheese pull off, he's just gonna work with what he's gonna start with. He's not gonna do anything extra, and then he's going to insist that that's a cheese pull, so that's number two. And number three, I know that he's on this channel, and he knows what he's doing is wrong and pathetic, and he's not gonna change, because he doesn't care about his audience one bit. Yes, look at that, right to the roof. Ah, beautiful day. Good morning. Hey, Ken, junior videographer, Padawan learner. Here is a pro tip. Don't stare into the sun and squint at it without sunglasses. It's not, as they say these days, a good look. Get the sunglasses on or find another spot. This just, you know, it, it's it's not appealing, okay? Like, try, try, how many years have you been doing this? Try try to learn a few things. Try, try to be a little bit more professional. Everybody, how you guys doing? Uh, slept really well last night, except for the, the rain and parking underneath. This tree wasn't such a good idea because the rain ran off from the tree, hitting the top and from here as well. It just made it sound like somebody was smacking the top of my car uh, for about two hours. Really, Ken? Wow, poor baby. The rain was hitting the top of the van and it made some noise for two hours. Wow, that's the, 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 you, know, you know how to do the, the tough stealth camping. Um, 
you know, pe people, they gotta come to your channel. Your channel is, is the real deal, where other channels, they have to, like, judge themselves against the the amazing toughness of your channel when it comes to stealth camping. Um, you, you had a shower, and, 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 and it rained on the van for probably, what, 90 minutes? Maybe an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, it made some noise. <sighs> that was really something, Ken. Great job. It was last night, so as you can see, all the debris from the rainstorm. Do you know what would make it even more exciting? If you uh, posted a picture of a tornado uh, if, from another city that did damage and pretend that the same tornado went through your neighborhood when it never really did and pretend that the tornado went through your neighborhood and make a video about that and then people will be all like oh i hope you're okay prayers for ken and his safety so you might want to add that because it's just you know as exciting as a little bit of debris is you could do more with it that's a lot of thunder and lightning that's probably the biggest uh lightning Please notice the light there, which is so much better. I mean, all you had to do was stand a few feet off to one side, and you could have made a much better shot. And, you know, you didn't put the work into it. You just, you know, walked ass backwards into it. I'm letting you know that this is what you should have done, and you shouldn't have shot the other footage. This is, this is much better. Um, try to take notes and learn from it. The show we had this year, um, a lot of times we had lightning and thunder and it was uh, short-lived it was just a few strikes here and there so you mentioned it anyway a couple of lightning strikes so were you running around in a field uh holding a tower no you were under a tree in your van well thanks for the uh exciting story there crybaby uh, let us know if you you encounter another shower with a couple of lightning strikes. Um, it's a very exciting story. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <sighs> yeah, a couple of lightning strikes for Ken. Thanks for the story. But uh, last night was a full-on light show. Just before it got here, I got down to the dock because uh, I saw the flashes in the distance. So I went down to the dock to get some really cool footage. And uh, then you could hear the rain coming, like, across the lake. I'm like, ah, oh, so I like, beeline it back here because I didn't want to get wet. Because you would melt, right? I mean, you do so many of those uh, drunk streams, and you eat so much sodium that the alcohol has <laughs> dried you out. <laughs> and you're a pillar of salt, really, otherwise. <laughs> I guess if, it, if you got caught in the shower... <laughs> There goes KBD Productions TV. Washed down a sewer. <laughs> oh, Ken. Oh, get back to your rusty story. And then you have to sit in the car uh, like that. So it just adds to the humidity in the car. So I got back here just in time. So uh, this morning, uh, we are recharging all of our batteries and things. So let me take you in for a little quick tour. So. Uh, I guess I forgot to charge this fully uh, before I left on my adventure. Forgot? What do you mean you forgot to charge it? This is an ad. And that is part of the advertorial script. Oh, I, for, there's a, a thing there and I forgot to charge it. Thank goodness the jackery was available. How handy and convenient it is. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna do like one giant ad, I mean, you gotta get started. You gotta get in early, and you know the story's gotta start real soon after you get started. Oh, I forgot the charge. That. Thank goodness the jaggery was there. <laughs> Show us more how handy it is. So right now I've got it charging on the jackery 500 and it's pulling eight watts right now really eh? she's pulling eight watts eh? pretty good eh? yeah give her 
She's pulling eight. She sure is. Working hard, folks. Working hard. Yeah, Jackery's got your back. Jackery's on the job. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Ken. Um, and so that hopefully will charge up before we get too far into our day. Uh, over here, I got my laptop charging off the Jackery 1500. Do they make a special Jackery for people who are just too stupid to charge their shit up before they leave the shack in the Elf Village? Uh, I mean, you know, they, like, you gotta have, like, the big one and the little one at the same time. Like, we're supposed to believe that you're not showing us the range of product, and that, like, this is really happening for real, and, oh, I, for, I forgot to charge the fan. I forgot to charge the laptop, too. <laughs> Why don't you just take the stupid Volkswagen ass? It's got, like, a household plug built in, you jackass. Uh, at the moment, I just have the uh, DC unplug uh, just because I don't need that to be super cold right now and I want that to charge more importantly than keep keeping one or two pops cold uh, I love it when Ken puts his fake little laugh in there and it's more important than keeping some pops cold <laughs> it makes everything seem so real for real uh, one of the reasons I did keep it plugged in all last night because I wanted to get this down to like 40% and then today, uh, we are going to be doing some really cool foods at a place called Cheese's Murphy. And the Grateful Bread. A really stupid name for a stupid place run by stupid people serving stupid customers such as Ken. He's going to go, he's going to get some mediocre food, he's going to say the same things he always says. And when he's washing down all that grease, he's going to do it with a Coke. That's entertainment enough, knowing that he's destroying his body by eating that shit. So, um, oh, I just got ahead of myself a little bit there. Sorry, <laughs> didn't give the spoiler alert. And the Grateful Bread, and it's like a, a sandwich truck, and it's part of a landscaping company, and uh, they have their truck permanently set up there, and I believe they open at 9. Uh, so we'll go over there and check that out. But we're also going to be um, trying to sell jackeries too bad that there wasn't you know like some sort of code that you could have added to the video and people could have gone to the website and put it in and got some sort of a discount then that would make it above board i mean right now ken is, is having us believe that this isn't uh you know an ad it's not a product placement and he doesn't have to declare it he's just in love with the jackery and it's just finding its way into the narrative of his little story for this thing and, um, may maybe when the Jackery people found out that, you know, <laughs> Ken has got 560,000 subscribers on paper, and after they did this, they probably thought, shoot, we're gonna, if we move at least, you know, an extra 2,000, that would be, yeah, it, it didn't happen, did it? Get power back into that thing with our four brand new 100 watt solar panels, and we'll try and see how long it takes to get you know 20 10 to 20 to 30 percent more power back into this thing uh trying to be uh sustainable i guess i'm not sure if that's the right word we know the right word hypocrisy so you already bought the giant big engine fire breathing gas guzzling volkswagen ass so you may as well just Take it there where you're going and make sure it's got a full tank of gas. And when you get there, run the engine a little bit and plug in to the normal house socket, which is already built into the damn thing. And you can just use that instead of all this fucking around, pretending that you're an environmentalist, which you are not. Uh, try to see if, if you were to do, like I say, a three or four or five day camping adventure and you really wanted to rely just 100% on your own power. Do you see that bicycle that you're always using as a prop to get people to believe that you're not eating fast food all the time and hanging around and getting out of shape, that you're really an active guy. And so instead of actually doing the stuff, instead of like getting in shape, 
you keep getting in worse shape and you keep pointing at that prop as, as if we're supposed to believe that you're using it all the time, how about you use it? And how about you put everything into a backpack and get on that bike and take your your phone or, you know, a couple of simple cameras, you don't have to shoot tons of footage, and get on it and go into the middle of nowhere and do a real camp. That would be impressive. You know, don't give us these stories. Oh, there was a rain shower, and it was on the van for a few minutes, and I got scared. You know, like, get on the bike and have a real camp. You don't need a jackery for that. And the jackery, uh, as long as you had good weather, and as long as you weren't in a deep forest kind of thing, uh, I'm, what I'm hoping for is if this charges within like a couple hours, like fully, um, even three hours. Imagine just three hours every single day, just unplugging everything just for three hours, putting the Jackery out there, setting up all your solar panels, and then it charged right back up to 100%. And um, that way you're cooler, which is the main thing it seems. Uh, Do you know how boring it is every time Ken grabs the steering wheel tray and says, let's get out the steering wheel tray and start eating. He does that because he's trying to sell it to you every time. And like he's only got to move like maybe two or four of those in a month because it's been way too long. Anybody who thought it was a good thing to have has gotten one by now. Like it's the same audience as like, hey, let's get out this doing with Ray and start eating, shall we? And please buy one of these pieces of garbage. It's so boring. And these long talks that he has with this thing are just super boring, longer, boring, dumb it used to be stories. On all the time to keep your foods and drinks and stuff cold. Um, so if that's the case, then I think uh, you'd be you'd be doing really, really well. And the fact that I've got the 1500 and the 500, that's going to help out even more. So I uh, look forward to that. Uh, but right now, that's going to get freshen up, and uh, then we'll go find this uh, cheeses Murphy and the Grateful Bread. Jesus Murphy and the Grateful Bread is a really stupid and corny name and it is meant to appeal to people who are stupid and corny such as Ken Gomic. And to give you an example, if there's a local parade on and they have horses dragging some of the floats, the local commentators that are washed up hacks will always do something like this. They'll talk about the horses taking a dump on the ground and go, well, it appears that the horses have left a deposit or two. <laughs> that's the type of humor. And that's the type of thing that Ken finds amusing. It's going to be fun. I am so glad that I finally broke down and paid for Epidemic Sound. So everything stays monetized and uh, we can play all the music because of... All the tunes that he uses, and Ken seems to pick all the ones that are corny. This one, I think, takes the cake. And, um, you know, it's dope, dope, dopey, 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 dope, 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 dopey, dopey. I love doing it. So, here we go. Dopey, 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 do. Dope, dopey, 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 dopey. Dopey, dope, 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 dopey, do. Dope, 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 dopey. Dopey, dope, dope, Ken Domic is dopey. Dopey, 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 Ken Domic is so dopey. Dope, dopey, 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 dopey. Dopey, dope, dope, dopey, dopey, do. Dopey, dope, dope, look at all the crap. It's so boring, just like you. Floaties, sunglasses. Chinese sweatshop, fourth grade consumer items. So cool. Nice clotted glasses, plastic, so you don't break it on the dock. Not only could you already get this at the dollar store or the grocery store, or get a mountain of it for $5 on Amazon, Ken is fighting to make it somehow be special that you can get this cheap crap at the local tourist place for Canadians who are too busy getting drunk that they don't even, you know, have any trust left to themselves to be able to eat and drink without breaking shit all the fucking time. 
Ah, what a white trash thing to draw attention to. Wine glasses. Plastic again. Napkins. Hmm. Boring, lazy footage. Boring, stupid music on a loop. The essential Ken Domic formula. That's bikinis, clothing, ladies stuff. The very large coats. <laughs> I cannot even put up my Ken Domic Senior Living Channel graphic here because even senior citizens would not sit still for content this bad. Like a base. So Heidi's also rents boats, and this is one of the boats that they rent. This had, I think, a 60 horsepower on it. That's all you really need, but he said the 90s a little bit nicer to drive around. But uh, I think they're like about $350 a day. So you'd have to totally make a whole day out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have to do. What one is that? The 60. And they also rent this boat and the jet ski. You see, this one's nice and easy to drive, easy to park. And then they rent that out as also. And I had no idea that these things had reverse on them. He just told me that parking these things is so much easier now than a long time ago when you only had a forward. <laughs> it's all filled up with water. But I think they rent that one too. But like I said, we're coming back for ice cream later. <laughs> Now, be a great time to try and charge up the jackery so i drove to the other side of the river so that was the park that we were at yesterday and uh, that was the marina just on the other side of this so the sun is coming up here and it's probably just going to continue going west of course so i figured this would be a great spot to set up my jackery and the solar panels and uh let's set it all up and we'll see how quickly the jacket recharges. This here is terrible material. Our Ken has set his camera up far away from where he has to do his business just so he can show you footage of him walking all the way to the van to get the jackery things and then walking all the way from it to set it up someplace. And the way he thinks he's snowing you with this stuff is to speed up the footage and add some canned music in the background. And that's like the Ken Domic formula for success. Well, for his audience, not over here. Here we laugh at it. <laughs> Okay, what did I get it down to? 46%. So I just unplugged everything. Uh, I did get some power. I think I got about half my power back into my laptop, so that's good enough for now. I'm gonna continue plugging these in over here. Definitely need my GoPro batteries for later on. And uh, this is still at 30%. Nobody cares, Ken. Pointing at some 10 cent fan you got off of Amazon. Oh, look, it says 30%. <laughs> like, go peel a banana or a tap dance or do something entertaining. Please and thanks. Leave this garbage alone. So, I have to obviously wait a little bit longer. It does take a long time, even at home, plugged into a wall. So, right there. We'll grab this beast. The beast. I'm thinking it's about 30, maybe 35 pounds. Wow, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. What we're gonna do first is get out our adapters out of the pack here. So these little Velcro things to keep everything organized. Thanks so much, Ken, for showing us the Velcro strap made in some Chinese factory and uh, giving us a little bit of ASMR too. It was really great material. Which is definitely coming, coming, going to come in handy. Plug that one in. Uh, 
number two. We won't need anything else from here until later. Another thing too is you can't leave the Jackery in the sun. So I'm gonna go, uh, after I plug everything in and show you guys, uh, I'm gonna grab a blanket or a towel and put it over top and uh, that will stop the Jackery from overheating. What a stupid pain in the ass. This here is what's wrong with Western civilization. Uh, it, I, I, I'll explain all of it. I'm going to take a couple of minutes here. If you've got the money to spend thousands of dollars on all this stuff, and you have a nice car to go with it, like Ken does. So if you're going to drive in, into the bush to go camping with your new modern car, and you're going to insist on bringing all your computers and all your cameras and all the rest of that stuff with you, and your phone and your backup phone, then just plug into the house current that these modern cars have, like the, the Volkswagen Ass that Ken owns, and the Volkswagen Tijuan, which he already got, and just plug in and idle the engine for a while, and get the full power house current, and just charge up everything with a nice big USB hub. That's all you need. You don't need this. It, especially, it makes no sense, if you're going camping, you're really going camping? Where are you going to find a perfectly landscaped area like Ken has got right there? And to set up like all that concrete, it's all nice and level and dry, and there's no trees around, so he's setting that stuff up. What are you going to do with that in the middle of the bush? Forget it. You, you can't compete with, with a, 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 a well-made Honda generator and a little bit of gasoline in there. Like, I could see, like, if you can, to be honest, because I know you're watching this, Ken, Really, to be honest, I was going to get the small Jackery if you were to keep making these videos just as a prop. And I kind of thought it would be nice to have a backup for a computer if the power ever went out. Uh, to, to buy all this stuff, to unfold it like that, you're going to get sand and twigs and moisture in there. And you're going to fold it back up and mold's going to start growing. Forget it. This is so damn stupid. Even Ken wouldn't be doing this, okay? Uh, you, you know, the little one at best. All this other shit? No. Number one, plugging in. It is pulling 22 watts so far. 63, 84. That's not bad. That was better than when we were in the uh, Costco parking lot. It was only getting 73. So I'm not sure if there was like a haze in this guy. So right now we're getting 76. The sun's in the perfect spot. I'm gonna get the cable out properly this time. Before. Double plug. Okay. Come on, buddy. So we're up to 167 watts. Oh, it also said, let me just unplug one of them for a second. So it's saying with the one solar panel, it's going to take 11 hours to charge this Jackery back up. Let's see what happens when we plug in number two. So it's going to jump to 166 watts eight hours might change I'm just waiting to see if it changes okay eight hours so let's plug this in maybe it'll do it in two maybe three hours if we plug in all the Jackery uh, solar panels hey Ken speeding up the footage and adding some canned music does not make it entertaining and it doesn't make it entertaining when you keep doing it over and over either Now we're at 243 watts, and it's gonna take five and a half hours to fully charge this Jackery. Panel number four. Plugging in number four. All right, with four solar panels on, we are up to 290 watts of power. Really? I thought it was 290 watts of boredom. 
It's gonna take three and a half hours to fully charge back up to 100%. Um, but again, I'd love to do an experiment in the future where we get this thing down to like 10 or 5% and see how long it takes. I guess it would take six hours maybe. So it's 22 after nine. We'll see how much power we get uh, in the next hour. All right. All right, time to do another check. It is almost 10 o'clock. The sun has obviously moved a little bit, so I tipped my uh, solar panels over a little bit. There was a little puff cloud that went by and it dropped the wattage down a lot. But uh, as long as there's no clouds, we're getting like 338 watts of power and it's gonna take two hours and four, 2.4 hours. Sorry about the reflection, guys. <laughs> hey there, guys. <laughs> Sorry about the reflection there, guys. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. <laughs> and when I had to laugh, it really seems like this is for real. <laughs> Does it? They ain't right. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the whole thing is an ad. Can go jump in the lake, please and thanks. But it's going to take 2.4 hours to fully charge. We're up to 58%, which is great. A couple ladies came by and were inquiring. And no, they did not. What happened was somebody came by as Ken is monopolizing a public dock for hours and hours and hours and hours with all that. And they said, well, what are you doing here? And, you know, it's the Jackery. Well, why do you got to put this all over the thing? Well, I'm, I'm, it's, it's my job. I'm, I'm doing an ad for them. And I said, oh, okay, well, you know, as long as you're getting paid for it, just to... Uh, you know, if you don't knock it off with this stuff, I'm gonna go call the park ranger and tell you to get this stuff out. In just a few more hours. That's what happened. And then after the person walked away, Ken thought to himself, You know, I, I should put in a little fake story about some lady coming up to these things and saying, Oh, what's going on? They're, they're, they're the amazing jackeries. Uh, yeah, you should buy one uh, so today. I let them know and they love the idea. Another thing I'm doing, instead of putting a blanket over it, because I think it needs to breathe. Actually, it is. You can feel the air coming out of here. So there is a fan in there trying to keep it cool. So what I do is I keep it right behind one of the solar panels. And that keeps the uh, the jackery cool and safe. Time for a swim. Let's leave that open. Just another reminder that Rusty is a prop. Because it's too rich for Ken to show up on his fake self-camping things with that Volkswagen ass and by having Rusty it gives him an excuse when he's doing live stream to say well Rusty needs some help people we need to keep this car on the road and with your help I can keep making this and then you know to get money for it he doesn't need your money it's just extra money for him it's a prop it's meant to look shabby and he goes to do this jackery thing with the shit heap because it gives an excuse to go, well, I gotta get this jackery set up. If he would have bought the Volkswagen ass, just plug in, use a USB hub, everything's powered up. It's so fake and stupid. Pretty safe town. What did I just tell you earlier? Do not be squinting into the sun without sunglasses. It's not a flattering look and we try to help you and you don't follow the advice. Ken, will you just blow the jackery one more time and then just go jump in the lake? Please and thanks. Get to enjoy myself while the jackery is working its butt off. <laughs> the music is far too exciting for the mediocre footage that is about to come. And um, I'm just going to turn the music off and talk over top of it. Uh, he's, 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 he's gonna uh, puddle around and piddle around, sorry, and find garbage. <laughs> now, with the exciting music off, this is pretty boring. It's like Ken Dominic playing around with the selfie stick and some stupid hero GoPro, whatever the heck it is. Come on, Ken. Go for another jump. <laughs> There is a scene from a nightmare. <laughs> and as I was saying, this is the break from the material of the giant Jackery ad. And um, 
not as exciting when you take away the exciting music. So, uh, come on, Ken, get get back on the dock and then uh, get ready and go go back into it and bring up some garbage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta speed this. long sleeve shirt uh, I couldn't find a logo or anything on it so uh, if you're missing a shirt I found it so right now it was down to 220 see as soon as that cloud hit dropped to 131 so it's, gonna, it's saying it's gonna take two hours but we're at 82 percent which is pretty good um, yeah see that 385 watts dropped to an hour less so i think we're gonna hang in a little bit longer and uh then we'll get lunch big cloud just moved in so uh let's see how much power we accumulated while well, we had the sun so we were down to 39 watts it's going to take eight hours now because of that cloud uh not much is getting through we're up to 88 percent that's good enough for now let's pack it up and go get some food That was not worth it, Ken. And you know it. It does not matter what you offer to your audience. Even you know that it was not worth it. The next time you're going someplace, get your modern car. The one that has the AC plug. Stop pretending with Rusty like you gotta keep it on the road and help me uh, to make all these repairs and give me all your money. That is for your stupid fans. The rest of us know that you got like $120,000 worth of new vehicles in your driveway. Take one of those and just plug in with a USB hub. Done. 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 Yeah, get it out of here. Get it out of here. Clean up. Fuck off. Laps. Let's get going. Cheeses Murphy. I am hungry. Speaking of Cheeses Murphy, let's get some. <laughs> Cheeses Murphy food truck open. I said it's part of the season to season market garden place. And it looks like people are lining up to get their cheeses. <laughs> cheeses Murphy and the Grateful Bread, the cheesiest place around. So, did he say it enough times already? Told you guys that Ken was exactly the type of personality that would really be attracted to and amused by such a stupid name for a business. But the food's good. Check out this menu. Canadian cheeses, baby cheeses, lard, tundra and cheeses. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, lard, tundra and cheeses, mounds of black forest ham. Like, I can understand the name of the place, even though I don't like it. Uh, some people, if, if they're going to take the name of Jesus in vain, they, they, they say, Jesus Murphy. Or, another cute way is to say, cheese and rice, instead of Jesus Christ. And, you know, you, you, you know, you're just doing what you're doing, right? And, uh, I, I think it's, it's offensive. And, like, I'm not particularly religious, it's just, this is a really cheap joke to exploit like this. So, so I, I, can, I can get it, right? If you want to call it uh, Jesus Murphy and the Grateful Bread, ha <laughs> ha It's just that all these other titles 
Canadian cheeses, baby cheeses, lard, tender and cheeses, cheeses, tabernacle, sweet cheeses, the weeping here. That's like hugely blasphemous. Uh, I wouldn't give these people five fucking cents or like two seconds worth of, of uh, internet time. <clears throat> of course, Ken loves it. It's finished with ranch. Yeah, let's do that. I'd like to get that lard, tundra, and cheeses. Uh, large, full, uh, small, poutine. And uh, I guess a Coke would be great. Thank you. Couldn't resist a poutine and a Coke. We can tell. And that is why you're in such bad shape. Every time you turn around, Ken Dominic's stuffing himself with poutine and more sugar drinks. And do you notice how loud and stupid the music is? I mean, I mean you, you can barely hear him talk over it. And, it, you know, it really fits for this stupid place, Jesus Murphy and the Grateful Bread. Um, just get over to your van and eat the same slop, Ken. Go do it. And then she is so busy here. Obviously, people still wind up over there. Uh, people in cars everywhere, so they give you this little thing. It'll, it's a beeper. It'll go off. That's when my order is ready. All right, guys. This is the Lord Tundra and Cheeses with a side of poutine. I went small for the poutine. I just can't refuse a poutine when it's sitting there on a beautiful little food truck. They make the best poutine. I've been telling people that for years. I don't drink any sugary drinks. That's that's for losers. I mean that. Sugary drinks. You don't need them. You get off them. Green tea. Un, unsweet. Unless you're under the age of 50. Then I would say it's okay to drink sugary drinks. Over 50, nah. You can't mess with that stuff. Oh, yeah. Wet the whistle with a bit of coke. Check out this super close up of the lard tundra and cheeses. I think they got something here, man. I'm sure if they uh, franchised out, they'd do well. Cheers. No, they would not. Like how he starts with, I think they got something here, man. Like, really, man? <laughs> Ken just sold out 40 fucking times in one video. And he didn't even declare it at the start like you were meant to do. And all of a sudden he's a hippie, man. Hey, I think they got something here, man. This would be really cool, man. Hey, man. Uh, you know, uh, th these are good sandwiches, man. <laughs> Ken is a hippie now. Yeah, right. And as for the name, forget it. Like, in the middle of nowhere, in the sticks, you can get away with calling it Jesus Murphy and the Grateful Bread. And all those uh, very offensive uh, food title names uh, if you tried to put that in in a big city it would offend the living daylights out of plenty of people and they wouldn't go anywhere and as for the other half of the name the grateful bread and the uh, graphics that these people are using you better be able to trace the history of your little food truck going back before the grateful dead published their first album because if you can't they and their lawyers would be coming after you because it's it's not your idea, and it's too close to their idea. And to reiterate, the graphics that they use is too close to the Grateful Dead's graphics. So, mm -mm, no, forget it. Our Ken just keeps on showing that he doesn't know anything about the food game, the uh, food industry, business, quick service restaurants. He does not know anything. Just to sit there and say, you know, there's something special here. If they were to franchise it, they'd be millionaires overnight. No, they would not be, Ken. It's just, it's just food truck slop in the sticks, okay? Uh, we all know it, and you do not. Just eat it. Just eat it, Ken, and have your Coke, too. Mmm. That is phenomenal. Do like half of baby cheeses and half Lord Tundra and cheeses. And that way you get a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? Cheese pull. Yes, look at that right to the roof. That is an amazing cheese pull right there. They've got deep fried cheesecake here. I saw that on their menu. Where is it? I don't think it's on the big menu. It's like on the side somewhere. Deep fried cheesecake. Let's do that.
Well, now there's a huge lineup and uh, I don't want to wait around that long for deep fried cheesecake. So we are going to try and get out of here. Check out that amazing playlist I put down over there for you to watch and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger. British peanut. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. Tangy.